GTA Swift Gamer here, welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's GTA 5 video, we're keeping the glitches going here. But before we get on with today's GTA 5 video, on the last video, or last couple of videos, I got a comment off one of you guys saying that my cont or my intro is cancer, right? Well, that's not really a nice thing to say. But if you're going to turn out as a hater, well, let's just let you know that if you want to continue, then feel free and continue. But don't blame me if you get a video about you on this channel really soon. Now, if you're not a hater and you want to actually, you know, give me some feedback or anything, go and hit me up on my Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. I'm always happy to actually listen to some of you guys and you know this is much is your channel you know you watch this channel so I'd rather you guys tell me what you want to see instead of me giving you what you really want to see if you know what I mean it's always best if you actually go out there and tell me what you want don't hate on this channel because I will make a video about you trust me I am not ashamed about it if you want to get sh named and shamed, then fair enough. You know, if you want to get named and shamed like the other guy did on this channel, then fair enough, I've already done a video of one person. I'm happy to do another video about you. Now let's keep these nasty comments to yourself. If you've not got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But if you really are truly a subscriber on my channel and you're not a hater, go over to my Twitter, give me some feedback, and let's stop with the nasty comments about cancer because that's a really really not really nice thing to say to someone but anyway enough about me ranting about that I've got some comments and questions on my previous video that I should have on the screen round about now if you want your comments and questions added to the next video go down in the comment section down below add your comments and I'm sure to add it in the very next video on my channel and in today's GTA 5 video, we have got the glitches coming up on this channel. Now, we all know that GTA 5 is dying. No, we know that. We all know. Absolutely no. We don't want it to die, do we? Now, on this channel, we're going to keep and try and keep GTA 5 going for as much as possible. Now, I've got a good glitch here coming up really, really soon. So stay tuned for that and a couple of more of great awesome glitches as well. So please stay tuned on this channel, really really great content and also thank you very much for 55 subscribers on this channel. It's really epic and thanks for you guys that have all your support, it's absolutely awesome. Let's keep the awesome support going and let's keep on going and don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you are brand new. And if you want your comments and questions, add it in down in descri uh, the, the description, add it in the comment section, and I'm sure to add it in the very next video on my channel. But anyway, in today's GTA 5 video, I'll be showing you how to get inside the police station now, here on Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, there is two couple of instances with this, and the first instance is we need the famous insurgent back yes we need the famous insur insurgent back to be able to continue on now if you haven't got an insurgent then that's bad luck for you because we need this insurgent we need this insurgent to be able to continue on now with the gameplay in the background you've probably already seen this multiple multiple times on this channel but this is just to tell you how to actually get the back door off the insurgent so if you haven't already let's get on with today's gta 5 video and let's get on with actually breaking the doors off off the insurgent and then we can get over to the police station to get inside i'm sorry this video gets big long i'll try to make it short but all you simply want to do is shoot out your insurgent windows okay you want to shoot out both windows at the front and at the back this is the best thing both the side 
both back side windows need to be shot out so the left side and the right side also both needs to be shooting out it doesn't matter about the normal doors it doesn't matter about them because we we won't really be bothering with them because they are not really the ones that really really want to shoot out it's just the really far side back ones that we really want to do so all you want to do is just kick on shooting out and you might just want to swap to a pistol or something it might be best for you to actually swap to a pistol just to try and get this uh, absolutely working 100% so make sure that you've got a pistol nothing too heavy though now we want to break the door off but we don't want to destroy it now do we but yes all you simply want to do is just break the doors off like you are doing well, like I'm doing now in the background and as you can see just shoot out the back window and obviously where the door is you just want to shoot out from the top to the middle to the bottom and go same to the bottom as well shoot from the one the bottom other side and then the other side as well and just keep on jaggedly shooting at different parts of this and then we'll be able to continue on now hopefully the insurgents will actually pop up and run about now as it will do in just a couple of minutes just need to carry on shooting unfortunately just take a couple of tries i mean it's a pain in the backside to actually get this working and nearly swore then let's try and not keep let's try and not swore <laughs> now as you can see the the door is now open slightly so that's good all you simply want to do is just keep on shooting at the specific locations and as you can see the door is now open and obviously all you need to do now is get back in the insurgents and trying to ram that door off so you can actually continue on now don't do like what I do, like a crazy mad guy and go craziness, just want to go slower because you know we don't want to shoot it now do we? And we don't want to make sure it actually goes back in. But anyway, let's move on to actually get inside the police station. Okay, now we are actually at the police station right now, okay? All you simply want to do is come to the police station. Now we all know where this police station is. It is the most, obviously the police station that you can actually get into here on Grand Theft Auto Online, okay? And all you simply want to do is position your insurgents past these two black doors at the back of me right here. You want to make sure that the it's the emergency doors. You just want to make sure it's past that point because if it isn't, that will cause a lot of problems. So just make sure that your insurgent is positioned right where I am after the the emergency doors are, and then you just do what I do. You want to jump inside your insurgent, jump, go left, okay, uh, and then what should happen is your character should obviously fall straight through, okay. But it didn't this time, so you just want to do it again. Just, just jump. Turn left quickly, and what should happen is you should fall straight through. Obviously, couple of, it might take a couple of times, but it is doable. But just watch yourself, you might lose health with this one, because it is really, really tricky to do. But all you need to do is just jump, and then at this exact same time, just turn your character left, okay? And this should pull you straight through the wall, okay? Now, it is tricky to do. Now I've tried to do it multiple, multiple times, but it is really, really tricky to do. And as you can see there, we're in there, but that is not what we want. Okay, that is not what we want, because guess what's going to happen now? Okay, now you'll probably notice in just a couple of minutes, right, there's two choices what will happen. You'll either fall straight through the map, okay, either that or you'll actually spawn inside okay and as you can see now I'm actually inside and that's not what we want because immediately it'll just kick you out now that is one thing we do not want because obviously they've done something to it so that it, it automatically kicks you out you know at the same time so that's not what we want it might take a couple of tries 
you just want to make sure that you get it precisely. If you can see that your character, okay, if you can see that the building is faded in, and you can see the, that you're inside of a building, that's not good. Okay, you just want to make sure that it's normal. Okay, once it's normal, you're good to go. It's simple as, you're good to go. Okay, so all you want to do is just jump again, turn left, and what should happen is you should actually get inside of the police station. And as you can see now, I'm inside of the police station, and that is all you want. As you can see on my minimap there, it looks like that I am outside, right? And that's what you want. You want to trick the game to thinking that I am outside, even though I'm actually inside. Now, if you can see down, down at the bottom that your minimap says that you're inside of a building, it will kick you out, no problem. And that's not what we want, because that basically, you know, we all know that Rockstar did patch this a while ago, but us glitches, we always find a way around things. And obviously, obviously, we did find a way around things. And what you want to make sure is that your character and your minimap actually tells you that you're actually still outside even though that you're inside of a building because if it's like that if you go out of first person because you have to remain in first person unfortunately to be able to continue on with today's glitch I know it's the most most annoying thing ever that you have to remain in first person but if you go out of first person to third person, the interior will go away and then you won't be able to see your interior. You'll just see outside the, uh, the, the police station. And that is good in a way, but bad. But unfortunately, there's no way to get inside this police station in, first, uh, in third person, okay? Unless you do actually a bank emission, uh, which I believe it's where you actually have to collect someone from the police station and that is the only time that you're allowed to go in the police station and you're only allowed to go in there for 30 minutes okay and I believe that's only set 30 minutes okay so if you don't if you're not bothered about the actual mission then you can actually just go in there spawn the location do whatever you need to do but you only have 30 minutes now to be able to do this you can be in here as much as you want and that will be no problem now the ways to actually get out of it you can either kill yourself or you go inside of a mission and back out and that what what this should do is it'll either spawn you on the roof or it'll spawn you outside okay but it's a great location and it's a, one of the best locations that we have ever actually been in here in Grand Theft Auto Online. One of the best locations to actually go into, one of the best interiors in the game so far. Now there is probably better, better locations, but unfortunately these are limited. And obviously, you know, everything is limited here in Grand Theft Auto Online, but if there was a way to get behind it, we've got it here on the channel. Now yes, GTA 5 is dying, but I am here to keep it alive. I know Rockstar is actually uploading, let me just say, rubbish content lately. Adversary modes. Now, who, now, seriously, who keeps playing adversary modes? I mean, fair enough, you play it, you play it, it gets absolutely boring, doesn't it? Now, we all know Rockstar, they love their adversary modes, but they seriously need to cut down on them because. They're not full, are they? But yeah, that is probably, that's typically it. We've got the only content that's been added today was a brand new adversary mode. Yes, another adversary mode. Seriously, Rockstar, just cut down on them. We don't like them. But with this adversary mode, it's where, it is, well, it's basically called land grab. And you have to gr grab a, the lands of locations on these specific um, maps to actually win. Now it's set to two players, so two to eight, I believe, or maybe more. But yep, 
that is that is all of the thing that actually Rockstar did actually release. Oh, and a brand new premium race. That is it. That's the only things. The current discounts are still going on. So the 25% off, well, the 25% off ammo is still going. So if you want to get on that, you surely can. If you do won't actually want to. But yeah, there's nothing else to say really. Uh, but that's it really if you do go on to like this video don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to comment down below what you want to see on this channel and also hit the subscribe button if you are brand new because we always love new subscribers right here on my channel and don't forget to go over to sad puppy he does awesome music as always i don't know where he's been lately being really really quiet but yeah go on, go over to sad puppy awesome music as always and also thank you very much for the awesome support so far on my channel it's been absolutely epic absolutely epic and as you can see now i did actually go into remission and then spawn on top of the roof results i guess because of the helicopter right there that might, not be, it might not be the best helicopter but hey it's the but yeah, that is it for my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video here on my channel. Bye.